All right, I just watched a Jordan Maxwell video and here's what he, his argument is basically. The son of God is like the actual son of God, not Jesus. And then, or that's what Jesus represents. And then the 12 disciples of Christ are the 12 months of the year. The four gospels, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are the four seasons of the year. And then you have the concept of Mother Nature and like the Heavenly Father. And um, at one point in time, God was rain. And they said rain for God. And then God would use the rain to um, turn the water into wine because the water would um, impregnate Mother Nature and then would bring fruit and then the grapes would be the wine and even the walking on the water is like the sun and then the sun sets set comes from like there's an egyptian god um called set and he's like the prince of darkness because the sun is setting and then um hours the word hours, he, he says, comes from Horus, and the eye of Horus is an Egyptian all-seeing eye. And um, uh, one thing I like that he said is about knowledge and light. So he, he makes all those connections about astrology, but he also acknowledges the concept of light versus dark in the sense of enlightenment versus ignorance. <clears throat> and like he says that person is brilliant because we associate intelligence with light and um, enlightenment right so when someone knows something and another person doesn't they are in darkness and and I would be in the light in that example and it would be too bright for them the way he he uses the example when you're in a dark room and someone turns on a light it's initially blinding um, it's too much to bear you turn away from it and that, that's like if you go try to show someone a, a truth or video um, it's very bright to them even though it's nothing to to you if you're in the light of truth and the light of the world is the, the literal light of the world but also truth he doesn't really get into good and evil of light versus dark but that i heard i i didn't watch it all but i watched the question section at the end and he got he said some really good stuff so yeah and um, I don't really know what I think about it, to be honest. But I love learning where words come from and the history of it. And um, I mean, he argues that the King James authorized version is like the only thing you're allowed to read. And that religion is just like, I guess, mind control. And it's really just... Uh, symbolism of light versus dark like knowledge versus ignorance and um, I don't know I don't think that explains the whole story but it is pretty crazy the 12 the 12 uh, 12 months of the year four gospels four seasons and um, Even the sun, sun connection has always been questionable, right? Um, but yeah, enjoy.